Right now, there are some major concerns in Louisville. TDOT is widening Louisville Road to the new Smith and Wesson headquarters, but some say the upgrades have a downside. John Pierce is joining us live in Louisville tonight. John, a lot of people, business owners, town leaders have concerns about the intersection that's basically right there behind you now. Yeah, Ted, that's right. Right behind me right now is where Topside Road meets Louisville Road, and just up Louisville Road a little bit, about a mile and a half away, is the Smith & Wesson headquarters. Now, TDOT has a plan that would expand Louisville Road a little bit uh, to make for easier truck access going to and from the plant, and that's what a lot of people have concerns about. We don't want this to be a, a, a drive through town, and that's what it appears it's going to become. The intersection of Louisville Road and Topside Road is set to be expanded. In a March 28th public hearing, TDOT outlined its plans for Project Eagle. The $20 million project will add six foot shoulders and curbs to both sides of Louisville Road. It would stretch from this intersection to Prophet Springs Road, home of the new Smith & Wesson headquarters. Many homes are going to lose a lot of the property. Jonathan Paz lives in this home right by the intersection and says the expanded roadway will cut into his property and create safety hazards for his family and other families on that road. They don't want to have the noise pollution, traffic coming by all hours of the uh, day and night. Um, they have young families as well. Louisville Mayor Jill Pugh says this is a city of Alcoa project and that Louisville was not part of the planning process at all. We did not have a voice in this matter. The project will also add concrete barriers to the middle of Topside Road right before the intersection, preventing people from making left turns in and out of some small businesses. This is very hurtful to our small businesses, also our post office. The mayor is encouraging concerned residents to fill out a comment card at Town Hall by April 18th. Those comments will go to TDOT. Now a TDOT spokesman says construction on this project likely won't start until 2027 and that it could take two to two and a half years or so to complete. And another reason for this project, a TDOT spokesman says, is for safety, saying that the wider shoulders will help reduce crashes in this area. And we did reach out to Smith & Wesson for comment on this, but we did not hear back. Ted. Yeah, we do need more shoulders on our roads in East Tennessee for sure for safety. John, thank you.